Okay, hello YouTube. Uh, welcome everybody. Happy day. I thought I'd pop on here real quick and have a play while I had the time. Um, I'm going to show you guys my new digital, I'm calling them tear sheets, and I'll show you why. Um, that I have on my Etsy shop, Inky Obsessions. I'll link everything below when the video is done. Uh, if you're watching the recording, you might want to skip ahead a few minutes till we get all the chatters in and the hello said Vicki Ross you're the early bird hey Vic hey Candy yeah so um but I wanted to show you guys something oh, I want to put it up here I want to remind you to show you guys something else um, that I did hey Jan Bonnie Dot, welcome. Jan, how are you doing? Everything all good? Recovery, all that good stuff. Debbie Gale, I think that's a new name. Welcome, Debbie. Susan, hi. Nancy, I think that's a new name. That's awesome. Hey, Allie, Linda. How's everybody doing? Hot and humid here in Maryland. <laughs> so, okay, we'll get started. Um, probably most of you know that I have an Etsy shop, Inky Obsessions, where I sell my rubber stamps. And I should have new ones coming this week of the new pictograph design. So I'll post those when they when they get here. Oh, good for you, Jan. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um and in addition to my rubber stamps, I've started doing some downloadables. And now I have um, three different types out there. I have background pages, which I've showed before. They're just one design on a solid sheet, basically. Sometimes they're uh, like a jelly print, so it's got different elements to it, but it's one, it's one sheet of all the same thing. Then I have um, some downloadable collage sheets where I've actually taken all different pieces of my art, jelly prints, photographs, all that I've done, um, and then collage them with different shapes and made an individual collage of those, which you can tear up and use any way you want. But then I thought, how about like a mingling of the two? So I came up with what I call tear sheets. And that's what I made this collage out of yesterday. Um, this is kind of a mishmash of things. Um, the, the Buddha face down here you see in this dark red, that's one of the tear sheets. And you can see where I water cut it off the bottom with that rough edge there, which I love. I'll show you guys how I did that. This is a sticker that was in a, a little gift that Jackie Jimerson, um, Creations by Jay Sherry. You may see her in chat today. Um, she's got an awesome Etsy shop called Artist, The Artisan's Cash, C A. C H E no yeah C A C H E um and these 3D raised elements here in this metallic red Zandra sent me um which I thought worked perfectly in here and the basic background print that you can see if you're if you are a hey Gala if you're a Patreon of Robin McClendon you will have gotten this one on as one of her little giveaways on her page. And this is one of my favorite prints. I'll show you the, I'll print out a whole sheet if I don't have it to show you what it is. It's gorgeous, but I love that. And I love the little bits of red that were in there. And that's what prompted this and Jackie's little bit and the red Buddha. So and then I just uh, used some Punchinella, one of my art foamy pictograph stamps here in bronze. And this is one of the stamps that Eileen sent me. Hey, Joan that I foiled through the mink machine. All right, little bits, little slashes here and there from the, what is that called? The foil quill. So I put that one together yesterday. And then if you ever watch Robin, I think she just, I don't know if she just does it on her, I think she does it on Patreon. She'll take a picture of her collage on her iPhone and go in and play with the color and the density and the black point and the focus shadows and blah, 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 and tweak it just a little bit. So that's what I did with this one. And it is just a little bit different the way I did it, but it's so 
I want to show you this, how this printed out. This is on a vintage, um, you can see how sheer it is, a vintage bond paper that I got, which I'm going to try to get more of that because this is really nice. But the metallic looks metallic in this print for my $100 cheap printer. All it looks shiny. Look at the, look at the foil. And look at Sanders. They look 3D and they look like they're wet and shiny. You see that? It's crazy. Crazy, I tell you. So this one, I'll just put in my scrap uh, bin and tear this up. Like maybe just tear this bit off and use it in something. Who knows? But that's, uh, this one's in the book and that one's not. So let me show you the tear sheets real quick before we get into tearing them. So this was my thought that I would mix and match. Uh, oh, thanks, Gala. Hey, Joan, did I say hi to you? Diane, hi. Anybody else sneak in and say hi to? If I did, I'm sorry. And I, I, I'm saying hi now. Hello, everybody. So what I did was I took three or four, depending on how they work. Like this one's got three different designs on it. But these are combinations of my jelly prints, printouts that I created, um, photographs that I took, whatever. And I put them on the page with a torn edge, right? So you can see how this one has four on it. Um, and I sell these on my Etsy shop, Inky Obsessions, five of these sheets for $2.50 to download. Um, here's another one. You might remember this was a journal page, a jelly print. This was a background of a bar where Dave and I were one time for a party that I took. Remember those parties where you used to go and have fun with a group of people? You guys probably don't remember. It's been too long ago. I can barely remember. And... You know, the same thing here. And some of these are conglomerations of my, um, I told you guys about that app, Photo Da. I don't know how to say it. F-O-T-O-D-A. It has, this is the icon. It's a black spiral right there. F-O-T-O-D-A. I think it's only available in the iPhone app store. I don't think you can get it on Androids. People told me they couldn't get it. But you can go in there and... It'll go to your whole entire photo library. Well, there's one that just came up automatically. You can see plants mixed in there from pictures from last year, pictures on the deck, jelly prints, collage sheet. It just overlays and kind of double exposes. That's a watercolor down there. Double exposes your photos. Well, I have so many photos of the kids and there's tons of the dogs and all kind of stuff. But you can go in here and hit this little icon of the four squares down here. Then you can go in your photo library and you can click the ones that you want to overlay. So that's what I've done. And they come out really cool sometimes. I'm telling you, I love it. Um, and that's what that's how this one came up. You can see that this was this was just a picture. That, what's in gold here is a picture of one of my stamp sets. My rubber stamp sets, it was the insert that you'd print out and put in the packaging. Well, it, it makes the black stamp transparent and puts another coloration in the stamp. All by its lonesome, but that's my design and that's what it is. I don't know what it's mingled with back here. I don't recognize that. And this one up here, you guys might recognize that Zodiac stamp I got from Xandra. It was on a jelly print. It merged it with a watercolor. It just does really cool stuff. But anyway, that's another one. I'll flip through these rest of these real quick. Gala, you know what this is, right? Um, for Jay Sherry. That's Jackie. Uh, Vicky, it's the Artisans Cache. C-A-C-H-E. Somebody can maybe put a link up for you if you can, if it won't come up for you. Um, but Gala knows what this is. We when we went to Arizona for Robin's class. In February, just before all this crap happened, um, we went shopping one, that Saturday. Um, and the last store we went in, I finally found a pair of earrings that I bought, or should I say invested in. And we went to, to cash out. And this was a little snippet of the picture of the old brass, bronze brass, I don't know what it was, cash register. An old timey one. And it had such cool components in it. I've used that a lot in different things that I've done. But anyway, the rest of these I'm going to kind of breeze through, right? 
I try to do different colorways, throw some black and white in. Some keep them, you know, kind of in the same families. Some contrasting. Black and white. You get it. Some scripting, some pictographs, watercolor. That's a watercolor. Here's some jelly prints. Uh, this was a canvas. This was a different canvas. This was a piece of tissue paper. No idea what that is. That must have been one of the overlays from Photodoc. And this striped image here with this stencil in the background was really cool. All right. This. More jelly prints. This is the Nautilus shell and the stone. Thank you. My husband's rescuing me. I didn't get anything to eat yet today, and he's bringing me a little late lunch that I missed. I should have said I was going to stream at 2.30, so I could have whipped something down, but I miscalculated. Eileen! Thanks, babe. All right, here's more of the cash register. This was a different part of the cash register. And you can see the um, different shading and colorations you get with that photo dot app that it lays over. Jelly print. All kind of stuff. Different scripting. There's that fabric I did with the bra the rusted fabric that I stenciled on not too long ago. Here's the same cash register, but it came out with like a black filter on it. It looks really cool. I did that as a background sheet too. I don't think I posted it yet where it's all the black. But this is um, a tray that we have out on our deck. That I got at Home Goods, but I love that Mandela that's painted on there. It's a tray and a candlestick, and they both they match. Not a candlestick. It's a big round wooden base with a big glass hurricane um, thing in it. And this one. Oh no, that's something else. Sorry, but anyway, you see what I got. Here's where I took the um, Buddha in that last collage. Some scripting. Here's Buddha's face again. A little bit of a little eyeball there. Some corrugate. So there you have it. Ha, ah, Joan. I can see you in that battle. <laughs> Everything rusted. Well, good. I'm pretty rusty getting rustier as the days go by okay so here's the one I did yesterday um now I just got to pick one of these I want to play with today what do I want to play with I had something in mind I just got to find it again I don't do green very much, so I had it in my little head. I was going to do something in green today. So I don't really use red that much, but I really like this one. You guys with your mini dogs, try a 100-pound Oakley on your lap. Oh, the other day, here, I'll show you something. Hey, the other day, other evening, Dave and I were out in the sunroom. He was sitting on the sofa. And I went over and I, I laid down on the sofa and put my feet up on his lap for a little hint for a foot rub. He's rubbing my feet. In comes Knucklehead. Oh, he wanted no parts of that. So he um, decided to climb up on the sofa and lay his whole body from my chest down to my shins on top of me. Where the heck is it? It was after that. Speed ahead if you're watching the recording. Otherwise, the live ones have to suffer along with me. Oh, my God. I'll have to show you guys some of the pictures of the kids. Chelsea, was they were at the beat this past weekend. <laughs> Little boogers. Too cute. Really? Well, where the hell is it? All right, we're not going to do this too much longer. One more sweep. If I don't see it, you'll just have to visualize it. <laughs> Yesterday, 
we dropped my mom off at her house for her weekly visit and uh, came back and washed both the dogs. Yay. Well, I don't know where it is. Lost it. Debbie, who's Debbie? Hey, oh, Debbie Gale. Artisan's cache. Yes, thank you. I see all this blue and brown stuff I want to use, but I'm going to try this. This is what I wanted. I wanted this piece. And I have this piece. So I did it. So one's torn at the bottom because this has font on it, right? So you don't want to just turn it upside down. Although you could. So I put one at the bottom of one page. And this one at the top. All right. Let me get these out of here. There's my handy dandy little envelope. <laughs> so there you go. There you are. And move this out of the way for a minute. Did any of you guys get the new Marabou alcohol inks with the color shifts in them? I'm going to watch the chat for a second to see if anybody answers me and take a bite of my lunch so I'm cheating. Marabou came out with the, some new colors, a couple metallics, and some color, four, I think it's four color shifting metallic alcohol inks. Hey, Judy. Eileen, surely you got them. I don't use my alcohol inks much anymore. So I only got a few colors. And now I'm glad I did. And I hate to say that because I was hoping for greatness, but I'll show you my experience real quick. Because this sample was laying right here where I went in and swatched these. the other day. Yeah, Debbie, I love I love that too about the community. In most cases, you'll find that that's true. You get a turd in a punch bowl every once in a while, but it's rare. <laughs> oh, they give you a headache. Okay. Well, so here are the color shifting samples that I just put on this black. This is the craft plastic that I bought from Joggles as well, that people are talking about using it with alcohol inks. So the inks themselves, these four are the color shifting inks, right? And they do shift colors. That's kind of cool, right? Love that. Love that one particularly. Right? That's all groovy. But look at the big mark that it makes that doesn't have anything, but it looks like it changed the black color to blacker. So I can see where you might want to use that to your advantage in some cases, but not so much. Elon, hello. Um, I wasn't thrilled about them. And this is the gold. It actually looks better in camera than it does on person. That's the silver. And you can see even with the lid on, as I was shaking the silver, it was splattering everywhere. So, yeah. And the color shifts, if you do them on white paper, you don't really get the same effect. It's kind of like one of those, um, uh, what's the word? Not iridescent. Um, interference colors where they look like almost like non-existent on white paper. You put them on black and it's a pal of color. So we will, we'll play with these another day, but that was laying in my face and I just wanted to show you guys. I know they're on sale a lot of places and they're out with a new big set, but I'm glad I didn't do the whole set to be honest. Um, and the Jacquard um, gold is, 
and I don't think I have the, the Ranger gold, but the Jacquard gold is awesome. Can the alcohol inks are for non-porous surfaces. You wouldn't want to use them on paper. You could use them on Yupo paper. That's not really paper. That's plastic. Oh, that's a good idea, Terry. I mean, uh, Jan. Good Lord, call anybody the last name. Hey, Terry. <laughs> hey, Kat. Welcome. Oh, yeah, your numbers are way up in Florida. Good Lord. You don't go out much, do you, Eileen, through all this? I mean, other than to your regular bars where you hang out. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get moving. This is just water on a brush. And I'm going to go in here and paint along this edge. I don't care if it's exact or not. Um, and this is just on regular copy paper. But it works. You just got to let it soak into the fibers. And this is an inkjet printer, so some of this might run a little bit. And if you're, well, I'll, I'll wait till I tear it to show you what I'm talking about. <coughs> Excuse me. House paid off. There you go. I will never live long enough to say that. But that's okay. Dave and I got a later start in life than most people did. We've just been together for 13 years total. We married for 11 in September. So, right, you just tear it. And you tear it along that ragged edge. And you get that really organic kind of a tear there. And you can see where a little of this dark, rusty red here is on that edge. Burp. If that bothers you, you can just water cut to the side of the, of the image that you want to... Um, want to use and it'll leave some of this green hanging on the edge of this one you can get rid of it again if you want to i'm not that picky well your husband's 99 all right i'm going to cut both of these off because i'm not sure if i'm going to use this on the bottom or the top so i might as well just do this while I'm here. Hey, Shelly. That seems like a new name. Welcome. Of course, I could be wrong. I'm wrong a lot. <laughs> All right, let's see where we are with this one. Is that wet enough yet? I think I missed the edge. Yeah. All right, so there we go. I got a couple pieces of that. I might come back for more of these, like maybe with some of this black in here, or even some of this. I don't know. We'll see. I'll put them up the in the pile. Let's get the book out here. <laughs> Eileen, spending your mortgage on your art supplies that you don't use. Hello. All right. Let's see. All 
right. Okie dokie. I also wanted to look in my little box of tricks here to see what other little bits. I really like this paper. Is there any part of that that might go with that? Hmm. Tell her, tear out, get out a couple of these black and white bits because something black and white always makes it in there. Probably a little something gold. Oh, look, a black and white circle. Well, here's some other. Oh, look, I had one water cut already. Hello. Hello. We're in the midst of refinancing. Oh, cool, Susan. I hope you enjoy them. We're refinancing and lucky, how lucky are we? Up to put on a new roof on the house. Yay. Oh, maybe a couple surfboards. Maybe that sticker of Jackie's. Just going through here and seeing that one's too blue for this piece. We might come back for that. Oh, here's some more surfboards. We'll see what matches better, if anything. Hey, Jackie. Uh, Judy. Kathy, hi. You're excited for a new roof. Bless your heart. We really need to get out more. <laughs> hey, Josie. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Did use that. Throw that out there. See what becomes of it. Maybe. That might be too turquoise. Too turquoise. Maybe a little of that or that. I'm trying to remember where the hell I put that um, the green fabric that I might need a whole piece. All right, where did I put it? it was separate from this like I put it I thought I put it in here the little pieces well these are not in there so maybe I'll that doesn't really go but I like it Oh, here it is. Here it is. This. This is what I was looking for. I'm going to have to do some more of this. <laughs> no, that's on that same fabric. It's got too much of that rusty stuff in there. Oh, hey, I wonder, 
like, oh, it's got this cut out of it. Uh, I was thinking about maybe taking this and putting that on the page. Another day, perhaps. Okie dokie. That gives me something to start with. Vanilla. Once it's bent, man, that stuff's <laughs> that's permanent. <laughs> okay. Do half of it. Yeah. Eileen, that's why I keep you here. That one has a little character in there. I don't guess that really matters. I don't know. That doesn't really go with that, though. It's got blue in here that it picked up off the plate. I mean, there's a little blue here, but it's different. That's a purpley blue. Another day. But I will take that under advisement with the half half circle idea, which I actually I do a lot. <laughs> Why I don't think of it myself, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> That's why you like me, Eileen. All right. So I'm thinking. This has bronze on it. A lot of these have goldy brassy colors on it. Maybe I'll just scrape a little bronze paint on the background. Why not? Let's just do it. Just a couple little streaks. And you know, I wonder if there's something with this bottle of bronze that I got. Remember when I stamped this on here? See all that green? For those of you who weren't here when I did it, that was stamped with this bronze paint rolled on the stamp. And it hit this fabric, and almost all of it turned that green. You can see a little of the bronze there on the edges, right? And where it overlapped the black, you can see it. But where it hit the white, it's green, like as mossy green as it can be. Now look at this when I scraped it. What's up with that? See it? A little green tinge in there. Very interesting. So I want to do something on the bottom or on the top. I don't like that now that I did it. Actually, you know what? We're not going to do it. We're not doing it. Hey, Colleen. It doesn't have any water in it. I scraped it right from, I put it in the bottle and scraped it. That's so strange. And it doesn't even look as metallic-y 
as it normally does. Maybe I gotta shake it. Shake it, baby, shake it. If a couple of my girlfriends were listening, they would be laughing at that shake it, baby, shake it comment. We went, oh gosh, it's been 14 years ago now. Me and a couple of my girlfriends met another friend uh, in London for vacation. And then he went with us to Italy. And we went to this one restaurant <laughs> that was um, right down the street from our hotel because we were pooped one night. And we thought, let's just go down here. What was really nice and was really good food. We, were, we actually went back twice. So the first time we're in there, it was a really warm, had been a really warm day. We walked everywhere. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, we had this waiter. His name was Principio. A slight little man with a pencil thin mustache. Um, <laughs> it was a very good waiter. But, um, well, let's just say he took a shine to me. Now, I probably outweighed him at least twice, two and a half times. Um, bless his heart. And he was, uh, so if you've ever been visiting Italy, you'll know that they have different standards as far as what's proper and what's not proper conduct with ladies on the street. Um, they are not uh, too worried about your, you know, your occasional ass grab. From a passerby. So we were in there. And it was. It was had really been hot. And I was fanning myself with something. And all of a sudden. I saw the girls across from me look up. And God bless. There's Principio. And he brought some ice cubes in his hand. And started rubbing them on my neck. And my chest. <laughs> okay. So anyway. You know, everybody had a laugh. The tables next to us are laughing, blah, blah, blah. So later in the meal or at the end of the meal, now he's kidding around with us like the whole time we're there. And I had to go to the loo. So I asked where it was, and he told me. And he had a very strong Italian accent, obviously. So it was at the complete opposite end of this long, skinny restaurant. And weaving through all these tables. So I told the girls, I'll be right back. Well, he positioned himself behind me and the whole way to the, to the loo. He's behind me with his hands like this, patting my butt, left, right, left, right, going, shake it, baby, shake it, shake it, baby, shake it, shake it, baby, shake it. <laughs> oh, my God. We still, it was quite the spectacle. The whole restaurant in an uproar, let me tell you. So, um, yeah, that become the inside joke with shake it baby shake it oh lord he was waiting for me when i came back out <laughs> escorted me back to the, my table the same way bless his heart oh yeah i actually have a picture of principio and i at the table i'll have to dig it out okay now what do i want to do what do i want to do is this I don't think that's going to work on here, is it? Not enough showing. Can't make it up. Yeah, that was well before hashtag me too. Giovanna, that's funny. <laughs> All right, Gala, zip it. <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy. I'm thinking that's not going to make the cut. What else do I have here? Maybe I want to do another. I do want to try to work this in somehow, but that's almost too busy, isn't it, with this? Not that I have to lap over that, but all right. I do this much quicker when I'm by myself. 
looking at the chat, interrupting myself. <laughs> oh, what are you going to do? Oh, maybe. I don't want those to get wrinkled necessarily. Maybe just this, maybe I will work that in with those pictographs foiled on that fabric. Somehow. I don't know. <laughs> hey, Micah, welcome. Hey, <laughs> you know, what are you going to do? Will that one work any better? Yeah, not much. I don't know. Oh, up, 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 up. Oh, you know what I want? My, my folder of backgrounds. That's what I want. Perhaps I'll find something in these. So these are the collages I was telling you guys about before. See how like, it's like a little collage of all my different elements overlaid. That's the collage sheets. These are the background sheets. This one will look, cool, look cool printed on coffee stain paper. I just thought of that. I haven't done it. Oh, maybe just something like that. That's almost too much. Too much. Oh, maybe I need something solid like that. Remember what that is, Gala? And Kathy? That's the roof at one of the outbuildings on the um, mission we went to in Arizona. <laughs> How Dot is doing. She was on a little while ago. I didn't even know she was having any issues, so I hope okay. Too busy. Oh, maybe this. That's a possibility. Oh, that's a possibility. Too busy. Too green. Hmm. Not wowing me. Oh, maybe this one. That's busy, but at the other end, it's busier. Too busy? I can break it up with some stuff. I don't know. It's a candidate. We'll leave the candidates out there. No, way wrong. That's actually not bad. Patty takes pictures of, of outhouses. Does she open the door when a guy is in there and take the... Well, I'm following your lead, Eileen. <laughs> you knucklehead. It wasn't an outhouse. It was part of the um, mission adjacent to the church. <laughs> yeah, you know, what can I say? Oh, I love that one. But that's 
not the right green, is it? Although I kind of like it. Now remember, this is the moment this will be covered up. I don't know. Something says, yeah, see this little bit of turquoise over in here? I don't know, it's a candidate. Okay, well, I hit the bottom of that pile. I've already pulled some of these out that I've used working on them. Let's see. Candidate. Huh. That might still be a candidate. <laughs> oh, Eileen. I'm going to back up here when lightning strikes. Now I'm looking at that. I think that's too busy. That's kind of interesting with all the straight lines. Well, they're not straight, but I mean... You know what I mean? I don't know. I kind of like that. I like that, but that's a little boring. All right, here's my contenders. Hey, Libby. Welcome. Eileen might have had a little too much of the hooch today. <laughs> See what I'm thinking about on this one, even though that looks really busy, is to come in. I don't know. I'm going back to that. I think I'm going to do it. But what I was thinking was taking one of the tear sheets with like a hunk of this black and white. And have this stick out of it so it separates this from that a little. You dig? I think I'm going to do that. I've come back to it twice. I like it. That's just less chit chat and more gluing. So. These may now be all wrong. <laughs> Yay. Back in the box. <laughs> we'll be digging out some more bits here in a minute. Well, it's in here. I'll bring it in. Don't worry about it. There's some in here. Look at all that green. What are you nuts? Please. Please. I'm going to try to. This is going to be a pain in the ass. But Oop, I said ass. I want that soak in there a second. I didn't have a stroke. I was actually looking for something and not looking at chat. Oh, shoot. Where is that? Raffle frazzle. All right. Another time. I thought I could find it quickly, but I can't. You need a calculator, Gala? Did you run out of hands, fingers, and toes? Oh, I like that. I like that edge. And it, look where the water moved the ink. It kind of made a straight line down there. Yeah, it is what it is. Don't mind that. I knew I'd wear you down, Gala. Uh, 
Oh, shit. Oh. Now that I know you're not counting, I can be less mindful. <laughs> Oh, mercy. This one's really going to be a nice ragged organic edge. <laughs> but I love this piece of this background, and I haven't used it yet in anything. So it's about darn time. I just said green. I was going to do green just to psych Eileen out. When I get these wetter and let it soak for another few seconds, it comes off a lot easier. Hey, maybe half of that circle I lean on here will be... Well, I don't know. I should keep my thoughts to myself before everybody goes crazy telling me what to do and what not to do. <laughs> oh, I got a lot of tips for Gala. <laughs> Bless her heart. i to watch my time because I'm later than I wanted to be and probably sooner than I should have been, if that makes any sense. But I, Sandra's coming on at 4.30. If I don't get finished, I might break and then come back after Z gets finished after our dinner. We're going to cook some. When I say we, I mean Dave. It's going to cook some pork medallions, asparagus, and corn on the cob on the grill. All right, let's get to gluing. Okay, look how pretty you are. Bless your little heart. Jamie, hello, dear. I used to always do collages with matte medium, but the glue stick seems to be working pretty good. Oop. Until I do that, get the ends real juicy. All right, let's see if I can hit anywhere near. It's upside down. Anywhere near where I want it. Good enough. <clears throat> okay. Now... Hey, Devin. Okay, one at the top. Okay, one at the bottom. I kind of like how dark that is there. Let's see. What else we got? Well, now we're back to this little dude. It just doesn't go anywhere. That one might go somewhere. 
that one maybe. I can work in Jackie's sticker somewhere and always work this stuff in. That's gone back in the bin. All right, now I wonder if I should look for a black and white hunk to try to Maybe that fine one. Or maybe this basket weave. This one, this one here, Allie, you mean? I really like it. If that's what you mean. Maybe give the quarter circle a border. Oh, you mean like maybe cut a big circle of this and let it stick out just a little bit to have something, some kind of a border in there? Well, of course, that's not, that's not it, but you know what I mean. I like the way you're thinking. So this, I think the bigger one, because this is kind of busy. Let's do that. All right, I'm going to do this one into the black and white, because I don't want any of the brown on the edges so much. Okie dokie. So you guys that follow me on social media, see where it left that edge on there? Actually, I kind of like that. But um, I, did, I wanted this clean black and white. I didn't want... Um, most of this is bond paper so far. Yeah, this... I think that was bond paper too. These are. Um, I need to print some more of these on different kinds of papers. Um, today is my mom and our pup babe's birthday. Well, that doesn't really match up, does it? Um, babe, our dog, was born on my mom's 80th birthday. We were going to get another male pup for Mojo 12 years ago. And, uh, when we found out the litter was born on July 12th, that was my mom's 80th birthday. And I thought, maybe somebody's trying to tell us to get a little female. So we got Babe instead of the male and named her Babe. Um, so today, Babe is 12 and mom is 92. I'm going to bring this down a little bit here. So it kind of mimics the same curvature here-ish. And my mom hates to have her birthday acknowledged. Hence why I felt safe to stream today. <laughs> oh, she does not care for that. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So this I'm just going to cut because I'm going to try to tuck it behind the blue. Bond paper is just um, copy paper. Regular, you know, printer paper, I should say. Let's see. In my head, this is going to look good. <laughs> Happy birthday to the babes. I 
think I might have cut it a little short, but I can still hide it with something. No, I still don't like that. Hey, Sophia. I'm not a big fan of that. What's happening here? Does it need to be something fine like this to break that up? Oh, it's got a blue spot on it. How oh, rude. Maybe I don't worry about breaking it up. Maybe I just glue that bad boy down there and worry about that later. And so it shall be. If they're not smooth candy, you could probably, you know, just kind of put like a metallic or a sheer, a sheer, um, metallic on your um, jelly plate and just lightly hit it so it hits the high points of the paper and kind of get a little, you know, speckly metallic thing going on. Okay. I did want to get some fabric on here, though. I don't know why I found it necessary, but I thought perhaps. It would be good. Oh, that's not bad now that it's on there. <laughs> All that for nothing. Um, all right. Of these back in there. Let's back in here. Now we got to go back into the bag of tricks and look for something. Will this go now with that better? That might not be bad. This is this is off now. That's off. Off. Maybe I should go on my other drawer of tricks. Kind of way out there, but I've done way out stuff before. <laughs> Eileen loves it when I do way out stuff. No, nope. that's too way out. No, nope. no. Nope. I really like this piece, but I don't think this is. Oh, remember these? Oh, that brings this color in with the blues. Maybe I do something with you. Maybe so. Um, let me look at my paper drawer real quick to see if there's anything that 
jumps out at me. Otherwise, I got an idea with this. I got me an idea. No, 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 no. Oh, what's this circle doing in there? I don't need that there, but I'll put it in my little box. My box of bits. Oh, maybe I can get some of this in there, too. This is another one that Sandra made me. <laughs> I got way too many papers, I gotta tell you. It's, it's just so difficult to try to figure out how in the hell to arrange them by color, by type, by size of the paper, by texture, by designs. Oh, I'm exhausted thinking about it. That's too likey likey. Okay. these onion skin jelly prints here. Xander said, I texted her early. She said she's out running some errands and uh, she's coming on at 4.30. Scraps to beauty. That looks like real corrugate, that print. That's crazy. Crazy talk. Whoa. Oh, that's that doorknob thing I took a picture of way back when. And oh, that's one of the collages printed. That's a vase. I like the texture on that vase in Florida. The shell. together. Hey, Peggy. Okie dokie. What do we want to do here? Anything? Maybe um, what did I print that on? It's not cardstock, but that's heavy. I have no idea. No idea. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Of course this doesn't go. But look how cute that is. Turquoise and purple. You know, I like that. It's got a little green in it, Eileen. See? Always thinking of you. I know what I need. I need to hydrate. Ah, I can carry on. Back up in the pile for another day. So I was thinking, this is done. That's done.
see what I'm thinking and my mouth doesn't move. <laughs> I must not think very often because my mouth is usually moving. No comments, Gala. I like how fuzzy these edges get on this paper. I don't know if you can see them. They fuzzy edges. Which for some odd reason that just popped in my head. I cut these hair today. <laughs> and a little fuzzy. A little fuzzy around the edges. I'm going to go up to the corner with that over here. Maybe. Maybe. Just thinking. I'm just thinking. That looks a little crooked. I wonder if I could get away with tearing a little tiny bit off of this side. Do you think? Anybody that knows fabric? You think I can get that a skinnier strip? It looks off center. Well, it is off center. Does anyone know? I started playing today, Peggy, with my new digital tear sheets I have out of my Etsy shop. And um, started playing with the collage with those. Embrace the wonky. I think it might get too kind of skewed up if I try to get rid of that little bit. You know what I mean? It's art just to get under something. Else. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I might even run it down like this and put it under. I'm going to make it shorter. But if I do something like that. And maybe a little something like that. A little more peek out of there. All right. Get rid of some of this. And let's see. What if I... What if... Just what if... I want to punch this, but I need to get some of this brown in here. With the blue. Oh, I got it. All right, so what if I took a little piece of this? I don't know if the uh, old surfboard's going to make the cut or not. Hey, Dad. It's got a little too much black border on it. So does this. Get rid of a little more of this. think so. Hey, Carrie Ann. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe not. I don't know. That kind of triple layer thing there looks kind of cool. Ish. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe like let's try something here. This is too big. <laughs> it's going to drive me crazy.
Yep, 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 go that way. Sweet Moses. No, back up. Oh well, lost a little bit of you. That's all right. Let's just see if what I even was thinking would even work. Just to break up the background a little bit. This is just deli paper and it's overpowering me. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, Z. No, 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 no. I don't know. There's something about this little. I want to make this there and this to go all the way to the top off the white edge. And the fabric tucked under to hide how too big it is. <laughs> right, and then I'll probably tear that off. I'm trying, I'm going to zoom in a little bit because I'm looking at my screen. That's how I usually eyeball stuff to see if I like it. Of course, now you can't see it. How rude. But what do I do with all this stuff? Oh, we talked about that corner thingy, didn't we? Well, let's just see what happens here. Ay, ay, ay. I'm not a good cutter. Not looking at the chat. Trying to concentrate so I screw this up as little as possible. There will be some screwing up, as we know. Like so? Who was that that said that? I forget. Oh, maybe drop it down into the frame. Leave a little white space there. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? I want to try to bring this in because this brown is what ties this in. Should we have it peeking out like another little planet or something coming in the side? These pages are curling and it's making all my stuff slide. I kind of like that. Allie, good idea. That's why I keep you guys around. Um, all right, I think we're going to start glowing. And I can throw a little bit of some shiny font in there somewhere. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Maybe not. We just don't know, do we? To be honest. Oh, I can put this in. Ha! There we go. That'll work. It's all coming together, people. All right, so let's... So this has to go down first, right? Or do I want it to go over this? And then have that interrupt the stripes like so. Or just under the stripes. I think under the stripes. Ha, 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 ha. All right, so this, this has to go down first. 
That's right above here. Let me make a little teeny weeny little kind of mark. Where's my pencil? My pencil. Oh, crap. Ay, ay, ay. That's the one with blue lead. I'll never see that. This is the one I wanted. All right. Good enough. Can I even see? Oh, yeah. I see it. Don't anybody panic. Over both. Oh, crap. Now I got glue on it and I can't look at it. Like that instead. No opinions? <laughs> I can't believe there's no opinions. No, put it under. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> I'm just going to do what I started out to do. Overlap. Underneath. Over top. I love how everybody sees something different. And actually, one will probably be as pretty as the other one. Did I go this way? Yeah, I think. I think this way. And now this. down here so I can see what the hell I'm looking at. I want to put this kind of squared up. And there. Put a little glue on this bad boy. I've had this little piece of this jelly print for years <laughs> trying to use it. I always thought it was such a pretty print. I forget what I did with the other bits. I think I used them in one of the collages that I cut up for ATCs. Oh, that would be another thing I can use the tear sheets for. That would be good. Just to get little bits of all different flavors of paper everywhere. Hang on, I'm going to have to turn this so I can get my, my bean down here. Nope, 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 nope. Now it wants to curl up. Great. Great. Well, a little bit is kind of wrinkled on me there. Oh, there we got it. Okay. There's that. And now... Okay, I've got to mark. Where do I want this? I'll mark it here. Okay. And I want to tear some of this off down here. Oops. Now we like those threads for texture, don't we? Yeah, I thought so too, Eileen. Okay. Now, I used Yes Paste on the fabric before. I'm just going to try to glue stick this one. I remember Robin was talking about somebody using glue stick on fabric. So let's just have a go, shall we? Or, or shall we? 
tell. Not sure about this. <laughs> Crap. The whole thing came out. Oh, yay. What is that mishmash of stuff on there? Sweet Moses. All right, we'll try it. I don't know what the hell happened there, but there's all kind of little balls of blue. <laughs> this I want here. And overlapping down here. And then I want this. Yeah, you know what? This one, we're going to have to go Bob Ice. Grab. Yoo-hoo! Where is my Yoo-hoo glue stick? There you are. Oh, this one's a blue one. I like these better. You can see a little bit of what the hell I'm doing. Hey, Kathy! Just a little bit of what I'm doing. Okay. So let's do this. Oh, I might stick a little bit of this somewhere else. I remember I cut that back for the See, I can see what I'm doing better. And I'm going to get all these little fuzzy ends here. So they kind of fray out, if possible. And this one, I want this little peak here to go all the way up to the top of the page. Like so. <gasps> Don't sit down. Don't get down. Let's try that. That came out a little bit longer than I wanted it somehow, but yeah, whatever. Whatever. Hang on, I've got to tilt this up to try to look at this. It seems to be sticking here. I think a lot of it has to do with your climate. I really do. God, that's so shiny. Can't see what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> see how shiny that is? I need my shades. Oh, let's just put it down there. What's the worst that can happen? I had it there the whole time and liked it. Now I'm second guessing myself. Not always just ends up in a delay of game. <laughs> Keep moving. I kind of like this triple layer kind of thing going on here. I don't know why. I just do. Now I'm going to throw. I feel like I need something somewhere. Yeah, I didn't use it for a long time. And then when I started using watching Robin, she used it all the time. And I thought, I'm going to try that because it's so much easier. Um, thanks, Devin. And, uh, but she's in, in Arizona. I wonder if that's going to work for me here because it's pretty humid here. All right, let me see. Let me see what we got here. Hmm. 
Oh, I love how that tears. Like butter. Get rid of some of this down here. Look at you. How easy is that? Paint like a glue booger on my fingers. It's making it hard to handle that delicate tissue. Let's see. Get rid of some of those wet bits. I never know which way is up or down looking at this stuff. I have no idea. I wonder, should I break that up like that? Or maybe... Oh, maybe I need a longer piece to come all the way down like that so I can interrupt this and get down into there is that too much well let's try something let's just try it Excuse me. I don't know. Which way do we go? Which way do we go? I don't know. <laughs> Which way is up? I don't know. Do I want to break this? All right, see, so we'll see you around 4.30. That little bit. I gotta kind of turn it up here so I can see it. Or do we want to do? Two like that, maybe? Or just one longer one? <laughs> I don't know. I think it may be like this. That's what I'm thinking. What time is it? 3.50. Let's just do it. Yeah, the glitter glue is nice. But I think I'm going to use my um, Yamato on this to make the tissue go bye-bye. That's what I think I'm going to do. It's too fragile, I think, Eileen. And um, I, uh, when I used it the other day, 
on this page. No, not that page. I'm going to do with that. Uh, for the red, that went almost translucent. Here are some other little excess bits off of here. Yep. Okay. All right. Yamato starch glue. Here we go. Although now that I'm looking at this, I think this tissue may be a different tissue than what the red was on. But we are now committed. Not looking at the chat right at the moment. All right, where did I have you? There ish. Oh, that looks pretty. Yep, and that goes darn near translucent. I'm going to tap around where some of that white paper is. Get a good adherence in there. Look at you. Ooh, I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay. About a half mile from Yamato Road. Go down and grab me a gallon of paste, would you? Looks good. Use it now. Yeah, okay, but that paste is good too. Yeah, this is good stuff. Oops, a little too good. What time is it? Almost four. Yep, get off of there. Don't start with me. Don't start. And this one I wanted like in here. Trying to smush this down with the brush tip. Oh, I wanted that down a little further. I think it's too late now, isn't it? Oh, yes, because I broke that apart. Okay, we're going to let that alone. I wanted these to be uneven down here. Crap. Well, let's just do this. Let's fudge it, shall we? Let's just fudge it a bit. Let's just add another little single one down there. Boop. And I don't know which way that goes, but I wanted it to come off the edge of that a little, a little teeny tiny bit. Look at you. No one will be the wiser except for all of you. And whoever else watches this. All right, now let me see where we are. Let's 
catching up on chat. Huh. I don't know. I can live with that, I think. I don't know. I feel like there's something up there. Do you feel it? <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys see anything? For some reason, up here up here. I don't know. It seems unfinished, but it is just that raggedy edge that I like. But I don't know what I would do with it different. Let me think on this a moment. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, now I gotta find it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Funny you should say that. I got these from loose ends. These, I think, might be too small. Oh, some of these are different. Oh, that's cool. That one's got those little rusted bits on it. That one's all shiny. I didn't know they were different. That's cool. Got a big one. Might be too big. Maybe that one over there with this brown and that brown. Hang on. Where's the secret? There it is. Hey, man, love. Emboss them. Emboss the coins? What are you talking about? emboss them. I don't know what you're saying to me. How do I emboss the coin? Just put the stuff on it and put any kind of embossing powder on it? And emboss it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that fold in that paper kicking back. So... Oh, Lord. Now I got to emboss them. So how... Oh, shoot. I have this Jackie sticker got bent under here, which is still fine. Can I work that in somewhere? Maybe not. So, um... What kind of embossing? Any... Do I sacrifice one of these beautiful big ones for that? I'll do a small one first. Why do I let you people talk me into this craziness? Craziness! <laughs> All right, what the hell are we doing? Use embossing ink and powder. Just like we would emboss anything, right? Doesn't that sound easy? 
Hey, didn't I get some kind of embossing stuff, Eileen? This, Eileen? That's the only one I have. Is that turquoisey one? Would it make it blend too much? Because some of the other ones are opaque. I don't want to lose the. I don't want to lose the, the gold of the coin. Exactly. Eileen, Seth would make a Seth would be great. So, like, what kind of Seth? A Wow Seth? Like this weather gold, or you mean one of his? Um, this is, yeah, I think, right? You're the one who told me to buy it, but that's all I have is this one blue one. I have Seth's powders, yeah, I do. What color you want? I don't know. This is clear though, right? But how clear is it? Oh, for Pete's sake. Let's just do a couple of them and get it over with. <laughs> 402. Coming down home stretch, people. Oh, I like the box. I like the backs with the font on it. Hang on. Oh mercy. How about Taos Sunset? <laughs> oh. And I have ancient amber. There's my cosplay. There. We'll do these three. We'll do these three. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Why do I listen to you people? I don't know. We'll do this, this, and this. The glaze is shiny and clear. It's going to get all over my fingers. Ew. Well, hell my hell. Let's just do that. Exciting. Well, I'm here to excite and delight you. <laughs> Don't usually do either, but <laughs> we'll try. All right, let's... Oh, hell, that one's not even open. This is the Taos Sunset. I like what I called it better myself, but what the hell do I know? See, I think that's going to be kind of opaque, isn't it? Oh, shit, I dropped it face down. Well, oh my goodness, let me get the rest of this out of the way. Oh my God, I can, I'm, I'm such a sloppy embosser. We're just going to do it. There's that one. There's this one. This is Ancient Amber. I never would have thought of this. I need to get out more, clearly. I was talking to my my best friend Gail, as Oprah says. Um, oh, shit. Now, I'm picking them up. Look, I'm knocking it all off of there. Seriously, Eileen. Is this one of your jokes? <laughs> Ancient Amber. I'm going to open this rascal up. I'm not looking at chat. Okay. Here goes this one. Oh, I wonder if this is going to look that greenish color patina stuff gets because of the blue and the gold of the coin, the brassiness of the coin or whatever it is. 
That didn't look like it's sticking much. Oh my. What not to do, people? This may be a good idea, but I don't know if my my process is <laughs> something you want to repeat. <laughs> good idea, Debbie. The right type button embossed might be cool too. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, come on. Now you know this shit's gonna go everywhere. Let me do this. Just to try to cover it up a little bit. Oh, he's done. Um, I started to say something. What did I start to say? Oh. Does anybody know? <laughs> he can. Let it warm up a minute. All right. Try to get the in frame. Not to see that much. Gonna be hot. There's that one. Pretty cool. Um, that was the Tao Sunset by Seth. This is the Ancient Amber. And this one is the Distress Glazing Robin's Egg. It did come out a green color. See, Eileen, you got your green anyway. This one's a lot. Of course, it's clear because it's a glaze. But you can really see that font on that one. I think I'm going to use that one somewhere. Cool. Oh, I'm going to be embossing metal. Ha! Never thought about that before. I really should stop thinking. Oh, maybe I'll do one of these big ones. What time is it? 4.09. I'm going to do this big one. And then I'm going to stop. And then I might come back later and finish it up. Because I'm not sure where I'm going to put these. They're really awkward. <laughs> Eileen that makes two of us my dear I'm going to have to go back and get more of these coins and more of the glazes come on get out of there I'm trying to do just the tiniest bit so that the I don't waste too much Come on. <laughs> Son of a bitch, I'm telling you. All right, it is what it is. Maybe where that edge is sticking out will look cool. Let's go with that. I, you know what, Candy? I don't order anything from Wish or AliExpress. Something about it just hits me wrong. And then, oh shit, look at all that blue off of there. All over the place. Eileen, of course I have to blame you. Oh, what happened? And it blew on these. Oh, Eileen. <laughs> That's still hot. Hotsy totsy. You go out, keep your head down and look for metal scraps. 
Yeah, there was something about, I tried it one time, and there was something about in the checkout process that was very off-putting to me. And I thought, uh, I don't need it that bad. But you know what else I said I'd never do, and I did? To be transparent about it. There was a purse I saw on Instagram, maybe. And then, of course, I looked at it, so it kept haunting me on Facebook. And I bought it. It wasn't that much money. It was maybe 50 bucks with shipping. It was supposed to be a real heavy-duty canvas with leather trim. Well, they forgot the P for pleather. Um, it finally, I forgot about it. I ordered it maybe three or four months ago. A very cool kind of a military kind of a thing to it. Um, it's a piece of crap. It's the cheapest pleather. It was all the straps are separate. You got to you got to assemble it yourself. The canvas is crappy. The zippers hardly work. So of course most of that blew off. We just got a shine out of it. There's a tiny bit of the little turquoisey misty part you see on there. I guess I could do another layer. But meanwhile, I got to clean up all the crap that blew everywhere. So, yeah, so I'm not happy with that one. That's going directly into the Goodwill bag. So, I don't know. What are we going to do with this? Do I want it up off the page? Do I want it maybe over there? Kind of. Do I even want it inside of that? Maybe just covering that corner. Oops. A little bit. I don't know. We're not going to figure it out right now. I, I know that much. <laughs> I just started fiddling with it. Oh, maybe right there. And then maybe put a little one up in here somewhere, or a couple of them. This would look cool with that bring that brown in again. I don't know. All right, I'm going to let this go. And I'm going to try to come back after we do our dinner and all that stuff. And um, good Lord, this is a powdery mess. And we'll see where we go. But don't forget, Xander's coming on at 4.30. Uh, it'll take me until 6.30 to get this mess cleaned up. <laughs> Anywho, that's where we ended up. I don't know where the coins are going to go. But I, I do really like it. And see this background, although it looked like pow in the beginning. It's still pow, but it's a lot of it's covered. So... Love these characters on here. I like it. So there you go. So thanks everybody for hanging out with me on your Sunday afternoon. I'm sure I'll see some of you guys at Xandra's in a little bit. And uh, I'll post it again on social media if I decide to come back on later uh once i see what's going on upstairs and i'll i'll catch you then bye